Hi guys, how are you? Um, so I've been reading, um, by the way, this is my friend Lois, which I'm gonna introduce in a minute, uh -huh. but I wanted to start by saying that, wow, I'm so over, not overwhelmed, I'm so beyond myself, how beautiful all these comments from my last post, I really was not expecting all these comments and how loving people were and encouraging. And some people had some, it touched them because they were going through the same thing. Um, everybody heard whatever was interesting for them. That was interesting. But what I love is people were very engaging. It wasn't like, like a heart, you know, or- On your Instagram. In Instagram. It wasn't just like, you know, good and an applause. It was literally people writing out, taking their time to express what they thought. And that was very touching. It was so touching that um, I changed some stuff around. Like I said before, I don't have anything planned. I just have a lot of material and I haven't decided what to do with it. But I think this is the perfect way to start my journey with this episode, podcast, whatever you want to call it. Um, because... I don't know because it it touched me it gave me that extra push that telling me that yes i am speaking to someone people are listening and it's making me want to do this even more so for my first episode um what better person to share with than one of my best friends Aww. lois <laughs> and the reason why you're here is because you are what I was saying that we should be. You are exactly that friend that is encouraging, that is supportive, that is happy for you. And I don't mean, oh, I'm so happy for you. You're generally happy for the person. Like you, I, you could tell. And there's so few of those friends in this world. And that's why I appreciate you. And that's why I love that you're here. Oh, thank you. And also because you kind of inspired me without knowing um, because you're going through the same kind of journey. You have a YouTube channel and it's called Lois Beauty Lux and Maria has been featured on it several times. <laughs> yeah. She has fans oh <laughs> on my channel. <laughs> Which is, it is a totally different <laughs> self-expression but I know that, I, like I don't even know how you decided to do this. I know you've always loved beauty. I know that we're not the most techie person in the world. <laughs> I'm doing this with a phone right now. But it didn't stop you. You worked with what you had and you just did it. And it's growing. It's It really is growing. Mm -hmm. At first I was like, I don't know. You know? <laughs> and now you have all these people sending you products. You're, act you're making money. Mm -hmm. You have, your following keeps growing. Mm -hmm. Like. It's amazing. So my nine-year-old daughter, Giselle, encouraged me to do two videos. She had planned this week that I had her to do a mukbang with Chick-fil-A, which is her favorite place, <laughs> so and to do a Dollar Tree um, makeup. Uh, James Charles, he has like 20 million following. She watched him, and he did a makeup um video and she wanted to replicate that video. So it was her idea. It was her idea for me to start my own channel doing the things she wanted me to do. And from there, my passion, I started creating content about beauty, workout, health, fitness, and it took off, so. Yeah, and then you kind of found your voice. Yeah. You, well, I love what you just said, because I had, I have my notes here, <laughs> because I want to make sure that I say everything that I want to say. I don't want to forget something. Um, and I have them in a certain order, because that's, you know, when you, <laughs> I'm nutty like that. We want to be perfectionists when we get to a certain point. But I'm going to change it around because I love what you said, that your inspiration was your daughter. She pushed me. You know, your seven-year-old daughter. She edited my videos, I the mean, first two. It's crazy. and With the phone. <laughs> with the phone, yeah. Uh -huh. And you learn from her. Yeah. You've been learning from her. Because sometimes we think that we need to have we need to know or find that really ultra successful person, the person that made it to get to 
pull information from, inspiration and uh, advice from. And sometimes we overlook the person that loves you the most, the person close to you and the person that inspires you because they are starting something themselves. You don't have to be there to be inspiring. You can be inspiring along the way. And honestly, from that last post I did, I saw that I think I inspired some people and that was so amazing and fulfilling that this is why, you know, it's giving it me a lot a of heart, It puts a smile on your heart. Yeah. Just to even have and share your your joy and kindness and make someone happy, oh. you know, because everyone's feeling stuck at a certain place in life. It doesn't mean it's your age, but we can all be going through something, so. I agree, I agree. <laughs> so that's why we're here and to be to be honest with you, because you know, like I said, you were, you were one of my inspirations for doing this and the the truth is you know i don't i feel like sometimes we get a little stuck on the way you know like i've lived so many years uh -huh. and you know sometimes you don't know what's next and i've been i've had a very blessed life i just want to tell you and i am so grateful for my blessed life but you know there's always room for growth there's always room for other things in your life and that's why by this beautiful chance, I met this woman that I speak to now every week, once a week. Um, she, I don't know, I call her my spiritual guy. She's like a life coach. She's, I'm not sure what, <laughs> what to call her. It's just amazing. But what she does is she sends me, well, we have a conversation, but every week she sends me a set of questions. You know, and those are questions that make you look at yourself deeper. And some of them maybe realize some things that you love to do that you didn't realize you love to do. Like one of the questions, and there's so many questions I'm not going to remember right now, but I can post some or if you ask some questions, I can share that with you guys. But um, like one of them is, what is it that you get so busy doing that you forget to eat? You know, usually those are things that you're enjoying because you're not even thinking about food. You're not even thinking about your break. You're not even thinking about what else is going on. So it shall ask you all kinds of different questions that some I would have never thought of asking. Some maybe I have, but you kind of want to ignore. And some are just, they make you look at yourself in a different way and helps you pull out the potential that you maybe didn't know you had. And... And, and it just, the way you view life, the way you view other people, the way you view yourself, that to be honest with you, I've enjoyed so much my conversations and my growth with her that it kind of make me want to pay it forward. Hmm. And hopefully by taking this journey, because she also um, inspired me to do this. Um, hopefully maybe I can also inspire other people, support other people, maybe help other people or just to know that I'm here for other people is it's amazing it's a beautiful it's thing. a beautiful mm -hmm. thing and meanwhile and I'm doing this while I'm trying to find myself because I don't know what's next you know just so you know I don't really <laughs> no but I don't really have like deep issues I've what? had a very blessed life I I'm not looking I'm sorry just I'm 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 not looking to fix like this hurt that I have in my heart. I've had a very good life. I'm just doing this because I want to grow. I want to grow as a person. Yeah. No bad feelings. I don't have bad feelings, but I want to continue to have good feelings and good yeah. adventures. Well, just, you know, you're 52. You probably have another 50 years left. You know, your parents have been married 70 years. Um, they're almost in their hundreds. So imagine Maria's 52. She needs to start planning the next 52 years or 50 years of her life. I never thought I'd live past, honestly, 30 or 40. And, you know, I'll be 45. So she has another 50 years on earth. So this is a great... <laughs> yeah, a no great, pressure. Yeah, oh a great God. way, you know, just to 
start planning the next 50 years oh, on, on earth 50 so more i'm years. excited for her oh my god <laughs> well that's what happens when you're vegan and you try to take care of yourself and then you have parents that are 95 and 93 and they're still partying and dancing and driving and yeah you yeah. know what see that's that's another thing you're making it's me look inspiration like, oh, so, I know. <laughs> so i definitely need to plan the next when people are thinking about retirement i gotta start thinking about what is next for me it's so true people think at 50 you know life's over they're retiring they're ready just to you know relax sit on the couch watch tv all day and you're completely opposite completely opposite you're always on the go you're traveling you're passionate, you're designing. Well, I like to create, mm -hmm. to be honest with you. I like to create, that's what I like. So this is a form of creating. This is just a form that I'm not used to creating, but that's why I'm so nutty with the, with the notes and the way it looks. I'm trying to loosen myself up and not have to worry about what I'm wearing. So I want to, I want to show different, different, um, angles of, of me, mm -hmm. you know, the funny one, the one that I don't care, the one I care. Because I care about beauty, mm -hmm. like you do. You know, you want to help everybody be their be very best to look as beautiful as they, you know, as they should. Yeah. You know, so yeah, I like that. So, but unfortunately, um, one of the reasons why I was inspired to do this segment is because you know we all get a little insecure we that's human that's human it's not like oh my god maria don't be insecure no i i know i know we shouldn't be insecure but we all have a little insecurities and we think they come from what people are like literally telling you but it's not sometimes it's from indirect ways and what i'm saying when i say that i mean how many times are we around a group of friends or people and then you see them talk about when the person leaves, you hear them talk about in the worst way of someone that walked away. It makes you think like, what are what people are they saying? saying behind my back? Mm -hmm. This is how we learn that, that one little uh, hiccup, you know, to succeed because we see how people do it in other, with other people and you start wondering, do they do that to me? And the other one that's so unexpected is sometimes even from your loved ones, your friends and family, when they mean well. And a perfect example is the picture, which by the way, I, I posted right back up because I know that I shouldn't care about other people and I forced myself to do it, you know? But um, that was Mark, you know, when I told Mark, <laughs> I know when I told him, he's gonna kill me. But when I told Mark I was gonna post that, he immediately like, froze and he's like you're gonna post that you're in your underwear and what he was trying to do was he was trying to protect me because you know and he knows and everybody knows that there's always going to be people saying negative things and you never know if somebody would and he just he was like in protective mode mm -hmm. but instead of what happened was I got worried I'm like oh my god yes and I put it down you know, and sometimes trying to protect the person you love or give them certain advice, sometimes it could do the opposite. So we have to, that's why I said at the end, we have to be kind with our words because you never know how people take it. Yeah, I, I think I share kindness um, and gratitude and I share that also on my channel in my videos i always at the end you know you never know what someone's going through and we shouldn't judge people either because life is hard as it is and we're living in a time that technology and there's people on the other side they're i don't know if they call them trolls but they can be really harsh on you and make you feel bad but just love yourself and feel beautiful in the body that god gave you and that's my thing in your skin Feel beautiful and love yourself. That's the most important thing. Don't worry about what society wants us to be. And again, you know, you know we all what say we, that. Yeah. And it's true. You know, we all say that. I say that. I've been a victim of it. I mean, not a, I have. You know, not ooh, a victim, but we all have. Because the whole thing is, it's human. It's human nature. We all have 
We all second guess ourselves. We all have a little bit of insecurity. Even the people that say, oh, I don't care what anybody says. The really successful people, oh, I never listen. That's why I'm successful. Everybody is. The only difference with some people, especially successful people, which is something that we need to learn from, is they use that as fuel to get ahead, which it's amazing and I recommend it, but it comes to show that they do care as well. We all do, we all care. So, but it's okay. It's okay because that's what's gonna give us fuel, you know, but through that process, it also made me think, you know, as we get older from when we're kids, because when we're kids, we don't care about anything that we do. Like I got to this age, like you said. With no plan. <laughs> with no plan. Like no plans because yeah. you're not worried about, you know. Tomorrow, it, tomorrow or the next week. Maybe that's as far as we plan is like a week in advance. Well, because you also know you have a lot of time. Yeah. When you get to a certain age, 50, then you you become more perfectionist because maybe you're thinking, oh, I don't have time to fail. Yeah. I want to get this done. I want to get my message. So you put more pressure on yourself. And that part is a little scary, but it's, it's life and we have to let it go. We have to just go back to that inner child <clears throat> because, you know, as, as a kid, we're so pure. And even with the good intentions, like your parents, but then you have society, your friends, school, your surroundings. We end up um, molding ourselves, conforming, mm -hmm. conforming to what we think society wants from us. And we do that because we want to get that job. We want to have friends in school. Yeah. We want to succeed and have a family and meet someone. How many times do sometimes we stop from doing or saying something like, oh my God, we're going to sound stupid. We all have done it because... We want to be accepted and we learn that from being a kid and that can also be good because that's going to help you navigate through life and have a happier life. The only thing that I challenge is don't lose yourself too much, that inner child along the way, because then what happens is we're talking about everybody being authentic and how are you authentic if you're forgetting who you really are along the way? So just don't lose yourself too much, you know, mm -hmm. be always in, you know, stay in touch with that inner child so you can always be authentic and be yourself. I think this is the whole point of everything that I'm doing for myself. I think that's a great message. And honestly, um, when I started off, I was very insecure the first two what? videos, yeah. I didn't tell anybody, but oh. Maria and uh, one other person, my daughter knew. And I didn't tell a lot of people for probably six months and I started making a community and a following and that encouraged me and my growth. And I shared with Maria a lot because we always share beauty tips, tricks. We do everything together, mm -hmm. when, especially when she's in town um, or even, wherever yeah. you are, <laughs> where we travel all over the world together. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> yeah, I think I was very insecure. And then through the process, I have become a lot more, um, I share now with everyone what I do and what I'm doing. And it's made me more confident because I was going through a place in time in my life where I didn't know where I was going, but I knew I needed to do something. And most people my age in their 40s already have a career. I had a marriage that failed. And so I was like, what am I going to like, what am I going to do with my life? So and I know I have a long life ahead of me, just like Maria. So <laughs> I'm like, I need to figure something out. So and sometimes, passion, passion. And sometimes yeah. even trying something that's uncomfortable gets you out of that rut. And oh. that's what I'm trying to do. And, you know, not go where it's comfortable and always because yeah. when you take risks like this, the bigger the risk, the bigger the rewards, you know, yes. and you don't know. And it's exciting and scary where it's going to take you. But there's more chances of taking you somewhere wonderful yeah. if you take a risk than not taking a risk. I wanted to be able to reach 
people all over the world. And there is no way I could just reach people in a med spa or a salon. I wanted to get a message out. And that's what ultimately happened and is and you it's don't know growing. where it's going to take right. you. Right. I don't know where it's taking you. It's taking you in a whole different me. direction. It's okay? taking me all over. So I'm just happy for you and excited for you and your journey and everything that's coming up. So thank you. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. So this is our story. <laughs> and I want to leave you with um, if you're thinking of doing something and it's scary, scary is good. It's a good feeling. Just because I said it was scary before doesn't mean it's bad. It's, always, it's not always negative. It could be positive. Scary is good. And my main message to you is do it because it's never going to be the perfect time. Honestly, when I was encouraged to do this, I just started doing filming. I didn't know when I was going to launch, when I was going to do it, uh, how I was going to do it. Um, There's some like interviews that didn't come out good content i'm just yeah because that's how you learn along the way mm -hmm. what's gonna work what doesn't honestly i don't want to take courses because when you take courses i feel like it puts you in a box mm -hmm. and you don't you you create something new and something different from your errors and from you trying to figure it out because you might figure out something in a whole different way that now you're creating that if you take those courses online or all those things, you skip all this and you go there and you're going to be just like everybody else. So my message is just do it. Be you. You're doing it. You're finding your voice and you're growing. Mm -hmm. I'm just starting out, so I don't know where I'm going, but I'm already getting a lot out of this. So that's my message yeah. for today. <laughs>